Greetings, folks. This is Jupiter Llama. It's an assistant uh, that runs, well, it's a Llama 2 assistant that you can run in a Jupyter notebook. So um, you'll find the link in the description. But let's go through and uh, run this notebook. First thing you want to do is change the runtime type. And you can use a free plan, should be enough, GPU T4. You don't need extra RAM. Click Save. Runtime, run all. And this should take probably about one to two minutes to get all the installation done. You can maybe speed it up by adding in your Google Drive if you like. Um, it's currently commented out here, but you can add that back in if you like. That is completed running now. And uh, you'll see this pop up here. So you have Jupyter Llama and you can type in something here, uh, H-E-L-L-O. Intent. So Jupiter Lama should say hello back to us momentarily. Okay, great. Now we can try and uh, upload a file here. I'll show you that. So just click on upload. You can upload a text or a PDF. Let me go to my sample files and let's upload. Um, this Substack document here. So this will now upload and it will add it to the context. It'll add it into the chat here, but shortened to 2,304 words. So it's still uploading here. And once it's uploaded, it should uh, start to save and it's just added it into the chat. So it's literally just added it into the chat. You can see here that, um, You've added in text from Substack and let's say, give me a summary. Ask uh, for a summary now. We'll take a little bit of time to chat, to, um, to process. Shout out to uh, Pan and also the blog for the work on uh, auto GPTQ, which allows for a quantized model here, which helps us to run faster in this notebook. Nope, not a robot. Yeah, so here you go. This is the uh, summary here. It's able to summarize. Now what we can do is we can uh, save this chat. So we can just save the chat to our files. Um, say I could save them in sample files here. Now I can uh, clear the chat. And at some later point, if I want to upload a previous chat, See, I've downloaded my chat history there and it's going to load all the way back in. So uh, some nice features there. PDFs should also work if you want to upload. In fact, I did upload a PDF. That was the Substack PDF. So uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Cheers, folks.